So we're moving on. If, when you're watching Spice World, what are you after for eating when you go in? You go to, I'll, I'll be stood behind the cashier's desk, I suppose, <laughs> and you can have <laughs> whatever's back there. I'd, I resent that they've only let me allow you to have two snacks and a drink, but, you know, if everybody got everything that was behind there, we'd run out in a week and, yeah, and yeah, back yeah. from the shop. So but you can have whatever you want from behind this sort of thing. Oh, what? Oh, oh, my God. Are we allowing this, well, Joe? Why don't you tell us and then we'll do like a judgment? What? Tell you what my snacks are? Yeah, yeah. let's go for it. Present it to right. us. This first one I've actually got with me and it's going to be unpopular because nobody likes noise in the cinema. Oh, so no. my first snack of choice is orange dimes individually wrapped. Oh, oh no, not individually no. wrapped. No. Right. Loads of rustling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but there's a way around this, right? Okay. So before you go into the cinema, you just unwrap them all. You don't do that. Back. You don't do you that, don't do you? that you? The amount of effort involved in this. <laughs> Believe me, it's worth it. Yeah. Have you ever had an orange dime? Yeah, they're unbelievable. They I've, are ne- unbelievable. I've never had one. I love a dime, um, but I've never had an orange one. Are they just at a different level? And fire. Yeah. So far in this fantasy cinema night, you're coming in with a pack of dimes and saying, here, Chief, unwrap these for us. I'll come back for them in the intermission. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going no, so, to be sat doing this all night. So, yeah, because this is I'm the thing. Um, no, you can get, if you want him to unwrap them, he has to do it. Cash your camel and wrap them all for you. Yeah, no, you can yeah. do it for you. Uh, because I'll part- tell you what, the really price they charge, they can, can't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of me was thinking to myself, like when you go to the cinema then, Emma, do you have to, there's a lot of admin involved because <laughs> oh, you've got to buy the orange dimes, then unwrap them before you go. That's big event. It's a big event for me. And I take it all. I take everything that I'm going to consume in a Tesco carrier bag with me in. Do you do like the inconspicuous <laughs> as if like, oh, I've not got anything in this bag kind of thing? No, I'm brazen. Really? I know really? They can't, they can't kick me out. I know now that taking your own snacks in isn't illegal. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I could get away with it, and they can't do anything about it. It was a big thing that one, it the snacks yeah. being illegal thing, <laughs> yeah, not bringing on your snacks. Yeah, I used to panic. You know, if you have your own, you taking your own popcorn or something, and then you have to do the t- the ticket check. Yeah, and you you're yeah. trying to hide an entire like oh, Tesco no. bag. I yeah, just go in looking like Quasimodo. Yeah, yeah. I, used have, yeah. I used to have it stuffed everywhere. I look like the absorber loft off that Doctor yeah. Who episode. Um, stuff poking out all over me. Just a general chat about orange chocolate, Emma. Right, it's nice, wow. isn't it? But people are going quite far with it these days. What are you on? There's not a bar. Chocolate? There's not a bar that's not got a bit of orange t- twirls, mm. right? A- Aero recently became orange chocolate. Yeah. Toffee crisp orange. Really? It's gone too far, Emma. It's never too far. Have you tried totally orange agree. chocolate? Do you know what I had the other night um, for me at home cinema night? You know Maltese buttons? Yeah. yeah. They're orange now. No, they're not. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> the world's gone mad. They're just for orange at it now, don't they? Why have we only just decided we like orange chocolate? Terry's must be few. Yeah. They're going, we were doing it first. Yeah, we were doing <laughs> Why are you first? jumping on the bandwagon? <laughs> oh, uh, right, so, so at the minute, for your first snack, you've got a uh, pre unwrapped <laughs> orange dime, dime yeah. pieces. Uh, what's your second? What, what else you having? Right, the second one I've not brought with me, boys, because if I do, I'll consume it in one sitting, right? It's an unusual choice of cinema snack, but just roll with me because it's a lot quieter than the orange dimes. A lot less work for me as well, hopefully. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) he's knackered. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It's a tub of Biscoff spread, right? (laughs) (laughs) Did you actually take that in? Yeah, it's, it's the so, dream. I guess it's the dream. No, have you take have you have you taken this into a cinema before? I have in the past taken this <gasps> spread with a teaspoon, teaspoon? in the Tesco bag. <laughs> oh my god! And then, yeah, but there's something I wonderful it. about it because you know, like with, if you have popcorn, you feel like you have to like constantly be at it, at it. Otherwise, oh, yeah. like it's going to go. Someone else is going to get it. Yeah. With that there's like a whole like. You can preserve it and, like, you can choose how long you're going to spend eating it. And this, there's something you like, you can drag out that Biscoff spread for the entirety of the film if you want, but popcorn oh, ain't lasting beyond the trailers, is it? I know it's, what you mean. It's ab- what, that is a, a game changer, Emma. I absolutely love it because I love Biscoff it's weird, spread. It, like, it's the sort of thing you do if you're watching a movie at home, no questions asked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but I've never thought about taking it to a cinema. Can I just say, Cashier Cam, I know you probably, I don't even see his yeah. face. He's, he can't believe it, Emma. I'm going to have. Tired fingers from sorting out all these 
bloody dime oh, things. I'm going to have sticky fingers with Biscoff spread. That's going to be a nightmare for it get off. I'm going to have to be serving other folk after they turn up. They're going to have sticky tickets. They're, they'll be going, Don't blame me, yeah. blame Emma. They're saying it's not illegal. She can bring in what she likes. Yeah. Everyone over there going, oh, can you... <laughs> I'm the villain. I'm the villain of the piece. <laughs> I was like, we didn't know he did Biscoff. You know, we, we don't. We don't. It's, right. it's a one-off. It's I a think one-off. you've changed the game here, Emma. I think there'll be people absolutely that, that would have never thought about being a full about, spread no, in. Because I'm starting to think about Nutella. Nutella. Yeah, that kind people. of thing. Peanut butter. It was unbelievable. Amazing. I'm, 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 now, boys, honestly, you can get Snickers, Mars, the lot. Oh, yeah. you, whatever you've previously had in chocolate form snack at the cinema, take it up. Game changer. Right, I'm take it, a take it in yeah. 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 It's, worth, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, you deserve that. Uh, and so, have you got... Uh, yeah, go on. We're on to the last thing. We're on to your drinks now. So, oh, what what drink are you taking in? Do you know what? This in. is like, so, you know, it's not original at all. Just an XXL Pepsi Max. That's oh, it. Oh, yeah. nice. You know, that, that's the first original Pepsi Max we've been told that someone would have. It's always Tango Ice Blast. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tango Ice yeah. Blast. Yeah. Yeah. No, too cold, too cold. When you you like, you need a warm palate for the other snacks that I've got. So <laughs> it's gonna like a tango ice blast. It's gonna like yeah. your mouth into it. Whereas just picture it like you have a bit, you have a dime, you live on a dime, dunking your biscuits <laughs> bread, and then you sip in your pet snacks. We got we got all palates coming into this. Oh, like Emma, you, I'm I'm well, I'm not known as it, but uh, I love a Pepsi Max cherry me. It's, a bit, it's my favourite drink of all time. I mean, yeah. include alcohol, anything. I'm not of a best drink ever. So it, I'm a bit surprised you're not throwing cherry in there. Yeah, I like cherry. It's beautiful, but I feel as though in order to like keep the focus on the sugary treats I've got in, like <laughs> the original Pepsi is a good thing to just chuck it back with. The yeah. cherry might interfere with it a bit. Do you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've we've dipping a, uh, an orange dime in Biscoff. There's a plenty going on already there. To be fair, isn't there? Love you don't need cherry no, complicating things. Cherry. Um, that. No, just like, that's a good menu. That's that. a great menu. So we yeah, start. Yeah, speak for yourselves. You put it in. Yeah, 